It's 5 a.m. in the morning. The priests have just finished their first arti of the day. And the sparrows have just completed their first round of daily feed. Sparrows are extremely vocal birds that chirp all the time. Both the male and female sparrows are apparently alike with black and brown color. These birds vary in size depending upon the region they inhabit. On average, they are around 14 to 16 centimeter long and weigh as light as 27 to 39 grams. Being lightweight, they can easily lift themselves around and at an average speed of 38.5 km per hour. The domestic sparrows are 5 to 6 inches in length. The male has a grey crown, whitish check and black throat. The bill and breast are black in summer and in winter the bill is yellow and the breast is grey. The female has a brown crown and a plain breast with a broad buff line over the eye. Be careful when identifying female house sparrows because they may look similar to female house finches. The female house finch will have a striped breast. Some interesting facts to know about sparrows are Sparrows do not belong to the category of water birds but they can swim extremely fast to escape their predators. Sparrows are not territorial animals, but they will aggressively protect their nest from other sparrows. Sparrows can survive between four and five years in the wild. Sparrows are extremely social birds that mainly nest in colonies. Very rarely, you will find them in dense forests or remote environments. They fly and feed in small flocks. Sparrows prefer to reside close to permanent human dwellings where they can fight bird feeders. Inhabiting an ideal sparrow habitat, they rest in nests that are normally located under roofs, bridges and in tree hollows. Birds are a diverse crop and their bright colors, distinct songs and calls and showy displays add enjoyment to our lives. Birds are very visible, quite common and offer easy opportunities to observe their diverse plumage and behaviors. Some birds transport a variety of things to the environment. For example, sparrows serve to spread seeds of various plants, thereby helping in seed dispersal. And this helps spread plant species from place to place, because some seeds do not get digested and are deposited miles away from their parent plant, helping to increase diversity in the genetic material of their species. Concerning sparrow diet, these creatures are primarily carnivorous in nature. Man-made environments have always been a source of food for the birds. Birds also play a vital role in keeping this balance of nature. Birds have often been associated with peace symbols. They scatter various colors in the sky, appearing like flying rainbow. These effortlessly flying birds, making their way across the air, have always presented a splendid sight to see. Unfortunately, various species of birds have been in the endangered bird list 
and the world remain callous about their declining numbers. I wish and I pray that this grave issue is addressed immediately to preserve the beauty of nature. Our school takes little little steps towards saving these birds by undertaking some projects like the making of bird feeders and performing street plays for awareness of this topic. Like many drops, together makes an ocean. We all together can contribute towards the healthy living and extent of these parrots. The students at City Montessori School, Mahanagar Lucknow, are sensitized and made aware of the fact that these tiny birds have a very significant role to play in the food chain at seed carriers. They are trained to make bird feeders as an essential, socially useful, productive work project. Hello everybody, I am Mrs. Anju Singh. I am a teacher at City Montessori School. Today I am here to tell you something about the sparrows. For the protection and conservation of sparrows, I have been working since about uh, 10 to 15 years. Then one, uh, one day I saw that they were trying to find a place to make their nest. Actually, uh, the sparrows, they are domestic birds. So they do not make their nest on trees like the other birds. So it came in my mind that I put in some pots over here. You can see over here the pots are there. And uh, those, when I put these pots, they started making nests out here. And every spring, these nests are full of bird eggs and the little ones. They should also adopt the habit of protecting and conserving these little birds which are dwindling very fast. They just have to put in some rice grains and water over here and make it a part of their daily routine as I have done. So I want all of you to express the same joy as I am enjoying. And I just want to say that it just requires a little bit of effort to save these birds, the tiny birds. People are talking about environment and climate change and you just have to take a small step and if you are working on it, you will feel the pleasure, the joy which is like remarkable. It is our moral responsibility to preserve the key link by allowing it a little space in our homes and hearts.